Hello and welcome to Little Blue Star. I'm Jane Allen and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I've got this cute little card. It's called a tricorn card which stands up like that. And I just think it's got the wow factor when you open it. And it just stands up like that. And I'm just going to show you how to make that today. It folds flat so it can go in an envelope. Um, I've seen these um, on a few videos um, but I've actually tweaked the measurements. Um, because I like a card which is um, five and three quarters uh, to fit in my envelope. So that's what I've done. So I'm just going to share with you my my version today. So as I say, I like mine. So a normal piece of card, um, but I've cut it down. So it's um, five and three quarter inches by eight inches. So you can get two of these out of a one piece of cardstock so that's what I've done so I've cut that down now what you want to do now is score at two four and six and I know some of you have probably got scoreboards out there but I haven't so I'm using my trimmer so that's what I'm doing first of all and then what you want to do is fold it so fold it sort of half in half that way and then these two pieces fold the other way the opposite way so you end up with that with that sort of shape hope that makes sense so fold it in half that way we'll just burnish those so they're nice and crisp and then you fold the others the opposite way hope that makes sense so far Okay, so you've got a nice card that looks like that. Now what you want to do now is on the um, these two, you are going to come down two inches. So I'm just going to mark it with my pencil. And again, two inches on this score line here. So the two score lines at two and six. You're just going to put a little mark and the same on the opposite side as well and then what you're going to do is from that mark to the outside edge you're going to score now obviously you can do this on your scoreboard or your trimmer but i've just grabbed my um take your pick tool and i've got the scoring uh, attachment so what i'm going to do is get from that that little mark that we made to the corner and score and then again coming down this side so you're making a triangle shape basically so again on this one so from that little mark to the outside corner from the little mark to the outside corner and scoring now you want to do that on both on both um, edges I'll just show you here so what I do now is where that score line is I just sort of tease it into shape before I bend it completely just so it knows which way it's going and again this side as well I do this just so it sort of knows which way to bend before I start and then <clears throat> once I've done that you can then push it together and get this nice crisp edge I'm gonna um, burnish it with my bone folder there and that side and that gives you a nice crisp edge that's what you want so you do that again with this side so as I say I've teased this side in and then I fold it into position and give it a nice um, burnish with my bone folder to give it a nice crisp edge and you get this shape here okay so once you've got that you sort of flip it round and you do the opposite side I won't do that now but it's like like that so you've got each each um, end now how it's going to go together it's going to be like that that's what you're looking for okay so that's your basic base part of the card. Now for the um, 
the, you know the pieces that go on here you need a piece of cardstock which is um, five and a quarter by one and three quarter inches and then you need a piece of DSP which is four and five eighths by one and a half inches and that's so you get a nice little border when you stick it on so what we're going to do now I'm just going to move that out of the way so I've got more room cardstock first so it's just the opposite um, like a co coordinating color that you need so grab my ruler this is the cardstock so we are going to measure one and three quarters from each end so one and three quarter inches from each end and just put a little mark okay so that's the cardstock grab my trimmer again and then what you want to do is put your mark on the cutting uh, you know the cutting piece whatever that's called and then line it up with the opposite corner get it in position and cut that bit off and then <clears throat> again this side so I'm lining up my little mark with the opposite corner and cutting that and what you end up with is this and these two triangles come off okay and you're going to do that again with your DSP with a slight adjustment on the marking so this time it's going to be um, one and a half from either end so one and a half and one and a half okay and then we're going to do that with our trimmer again so again might be it might be a good idea I didn't <laughs> but to put the mark on the opposite side so you don't see it but obviously you can always um, rub those marks off I don't think you notice it very well anyway so I'm lining up my tiny little mark with the opposite corner again and cutting and then again my little mark and the opposite corner and then cut that okay and then you should have so what was our rectangular piece here we've now cut like so and then you can go ahead and glue that on as I say this bit you can flip over and get rid of your marks and you can just glue that on and like I said it probably might be a good idea to um, do it on the opposite side of your DSP so you don't get the pencil mark but as I said you can just rub it out but I don't think you can see my marks very well there anyway so that's fine and then just go ahead and glue these pieces into your cardstock so you get a nice little border and again with this one and you want two of these so you would need two cardstock rectangles and two DSP rectangles and you'll end up with that and I've here's one I've made earlier <laughs> um, I've done another one there just so I did it off camera so you want two of these okay bring in our base card again and we can go ahead and glue these on 
Now it's going to stick together like that. You can go ahead and glue that before or you can do it now. I'm just going to do it now so it's got somewhere that I can um, push down to stick it onto because I like to adhere it nice and firm. And as you can see, I've gone completely wonky with that. But good old Tombow gives me a bit of wiggle room. Da da. <laughs> and again with the other side. Onto there. Okay. And then it will fold together like so. The little triangles I'm going to put up the top. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those on. Just makes it nice. When you um when you do it flat. When you fold it flat, you've got a nice um, piece at the top. It doesn't matter which way you fold it, um, as I'll show you in just a second. So I'm just going to glue these on. Quite easy. Hopefully that's all made sense to you. Just double check your measurements, that's all. Because I did... Um, I made one and with the DSP I got the wrong measurement so it didn't quite line up so just double check before you cut okay so there's our pattern now what we want to do now is glue this together so I'm going to put some glue on here and then stick that together okay nice and firm and then when it opens up, you can fold it that way, or you can fold it that way, and it really doesn't matter, okay? And there you go. That is your base card for a tricorn card. There you go. So honestly, any any sort of base card, uh, coordinated card stock, and a bit of DSP, and it's quite a simple... Um, hard to make but it does look amazing I find and also on the back you can do I haven't got any cut but you can cut um, whisper white so that you can write in it so again that cardstock will be the same as what I used here which was the blue shall I do that now let me just grab a bit of whisper white I'm sure you don't need me to show you how to do it but I'll go for it anyway so um, five and a quarter that way by one and three quarters so you need two of those or four depending on how many depending on how many you want to stick in if you want to stick all four of these with white or just stick with two and again it's one and three quarters from either end and again you line up your mark with the opposite corner that one and again this side Okay, just exactly what we did with the blue, with the blue, and then that can stick there. And obviously, you can cut another one for that side, and you've got somewhere to write. Okay, I won't bother sticking that on, but that is your base card for a tricorn card. I'm just going to finish it off with this gorgeous sentiment Tis the season from. Tag Buffet, which I am adoring at the moment. I think it's a really lovely um, set and I'm using it a lot. I'm going to grab my Knight of Navy um, ink pad, ink cut up, look, I mean that's just gorgeous, absolutely. Grab my two inch punch and just line that up where I want it, punch that out 
and then I'll grab my two and a quarter inch punch and grab some of this gorgeous balmy blue glimmer paper which as you know I love blue so this is a favourite of mine and that's my two and a quarter inch punch whoops and then I will just glue that on um, a little trick is if you find that your um, it doesn't stick for any reason you can always cut a little bit out so I'm just going to grab one of my other punches maybe here just stick a bit cut the centre out and then glue that on I mean I think it glues anyway nicely but if you glue that there you get a nice little um, sentiment with a bit of bling, a bit of glitz, which is always good. And then that just um, sticks to the card front there. And like I say, if you um, punch that circle out at the, and you can put a bit of glue there, then it would just help adhere to the front there, which is what I'm going to do there. And stick that on like so now remember not to glue too far at the top or the bottom because it will um, it's not going to stick there so you don't need glue right at the top and the bottom and there you go Ta -da! I think that's super quick super easy but it's got the wow factor as long as you get your measurements right <laughs> I think that's a little stunner of a card. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you soon. Bye.